Hello friends, it's Cassandra, and today I want to tell you about my new song that I just released. Um, you can listen to it here or anywhere that you listen to music. Uh, it's called Where You Lead, and it is a lament song, Christian song. So I'm so excited to be adding a lament song to the genre. I feel like we don't have enough of those considering how much of the psalms are laments considering there's a whole book of lamentations in the bible um i feel like it's something we miss out on or you know if it is a sadder song we feel like it has to be wrapped up with a nice pretty bow by the end of the song and this song doesn't do that it's just a struggle and a wrestling with wanting to follow god's will but not knowing what it is and that's how the song ends so I hope that this song is a comfort to you. I hope it is um, edifying for you. Um, and today I just want to talk about where that song came from, why I wrote it, and how I got it produced, and um, all of that as an independent artist. So I wrote this song because I was looking for a new job and I didn't really know what to do. I am in this season right now where I'm like, okay, I'm not married. I have no prospects of getting married soon. And um, that's just always what I pictured for myself was being a stay-at-home wife. And so with that not being my reality right now, I need to figure out what I'm doing with a career. So I was really struggling because I know God's called me to ministry, but I don't know, you know, what what are my goals for that and what are God's goals for that and trying to separate the two and understand, like, what is God really calling me to? Practically speaking, like, in the here and now, what am I supposed to do? And so um, I was thinking about going to seminary, uh, getting a master's of theology or a master's of divinity and looking into that as a possibility. So I actually visited a seminary and um, I was getting all this information, trying to figure out what I was supposed to do. All the while I'm talking to my pastors, I'm praying, and I'm just feeling like I'm, I'm not getting anywhere. Um, I'm 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 not getting the answer that I am wanting from God and that answer I'm wanting is is this a yes is this a no like that's all I wanted to hear and instead he's given me things like I called you to write and silence and I'm like this is not helping me I just want a yes or no answer <laughs> yes this song came out of that I wrote the song in a couple of days and within a week had decided I want to actually release this song um, professionally and uh, someone on my TikTok had commented and said you need to release this song and so that was kind of the push I needed to get that done and actually do it so how that all happened was um, I just went on Fiverr. Fiverr is a, like, entrepreneurship, entre entrepren entrepreneur, um, freelance work, Google search engine, basically. You just type in what you want to find. For me, it was a Christian music producer, and that's what I found. So, um, I worked with Seth Thomas. He actually lives in Britain, so that was really cool. Just the way that, that the internet helps us connect globally to people, like, really hit home for me um, <laughs> in this project. Um, so, that was really cool. We met over Zoom just to talk about the song, my heart behind it, what I was looking to do with it, my inspiration for it, uh, which was worn by 10th Avenue North, by the way. And um, he seemed pretty excited about it, was like, yeah, let's, let's get to work on this. So I recorded my vocals in my closet. Hello and welcome to the recording studio. Um, also known as my craft closet, so I have some various fabrics over here, <laughs> and um, behind me I have a blanket hanging up. So I feel like it's about as ideal as I'm going to get as far as the recording studio goes. I also have these isolation shells. Um, if you're curious, I'm using a Blue Yeti mic. And I'm recording this on Audacity. So. Um, Blue Yeti mic was 
got second hand. This laptop I'm using is second hand. So, you know, we are recording this thing for cheap. He is set to work on a piano track and he sent that to me with a click track. So it's like a metronome and this lady saying like chorus two, three, four, and then you come in and you sing the chorus. I thought I'd show you what the track sounds like that I'm recording to um, because a lot of people don't know like what a click track is or how does that work. Intro, two, three, four. And there's a metronome going the whole time. Verse. So that's what I'm listening to when I'm recording. I I recorded it and uh, I ha I did it all in one take. So you know whether that was a good decision or not, you can let me know. But it was what I was able to do <laughs> with what I had. So. Yeah, um, I just picked the best take that I could and went with it, um, and then I used that take to record the harmonies. So, I did a high harmony and, like, a mid-range harmony. Um, the high harmony was, I was struggling a little bit. It was quite high. All right, I just did my final melody recording. I'm pretty happy with it. So now I'm going to do the high harmony before my voice gets too tired um, and then I will end with the low harmony. So um, I don't know if this high harmony is going to actually be in the final product, but we're recording it just in case we want it. So we shall see. But I, I sent it to Seth and I said, um, I'm not sure about this one. So, you know, if you don't use it, that's fine. But, uh, you know, I figured I'd send it your way just in case. And he made it sound beautiful. So, <laughs> um, I, I really like how it turned out in the song. i um, glad I sent it to him. And then I have the mid-range harmony um, as well. I just want to follow, I just want to follow, I just want to follow, I just want to follow. And then I sent those over and it was just waiting for him to put the song together and he did it honestly really quickly. Um, he was so great to work with. Um, I will be working with him in the future with my EP. So, um, yeah, really, really great to work with. So, after he got my vocals back, he started recording more piano, um, guitar, drums, ambient sounds, all of that awesome stuff and he put it together and sent me the demo and I listened to the demo and I wish I had recorded my reaction to it because I immediately was like this is exactly what I wanted like I I didn't spend time you know picturing or envisioning what I wanted it to sound like um but he nailed it like he he got it spot on and I love how it turned out uh the break at the end of the bridge, that short little break is, I, I love a good break. And so <laughs> the fact that he included one in this song without me even telling him, like, I love breaks. Um, I just, it was, it's perfect. It's perfect. Um, and so he did an, a stunning job. It, it's absolutely amazing what he did with this song. And, um, it's hard for me to even, like, take credit, like, I wrote this song, because even though I wrote the <laughs> words and the melody, he's the one that turned it into an actual song, and so, um, just so much credit and love goes to Seth for the work that he did on this track, um, I'm just so thankful that I found him and met him and got to work with him, so thank you, Seth, for everything you did. 
And then as far as releasing the song, I am using a, I don't know if it's a software, a program, a distribution platform, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, it's called TuneCore. And what TuneCore does is you upload your song to there, you pay them like $10, $15 for the year, and then they upload it to like 180 different music selling streaming platforms for you and then they collect all of your revenue so that it's all in one place and then it gets sent to you so um as far as i know getting a music distributor platform is the only way to get your music on to like spotify and apple music and itunes and all of that if you're an independent artist um I could be wrong about that, but as far as I know, that's the only way to do it unless you want to go through a ton of work trying to prove you're a legit person and you have legit music and all of that, which, that's too much work for me. I'm just, no, it's not, I'm not doing that. So, yeah, um, it, I'm excited to see how it works, I guess. Um, cause I'm recording this obviously before the song comes out. The only thing left now for you to do is to listen to the song. So click that link, um, go open your Spotify, get on iTunes, whatever it is that you do and listen to Where You Lead by Cassandra Grace. I would appreciate it so, so much. Tell me what you think. Um, my DMs are always open on Instagram and TikTok. I'm at Cassandra's Pocket. That's how you can find me there. And I would love to hear from you. Let me know what you thought about the song. Um, and yes, more music is coming in the future. Um, so keep an eye out for that as well. That all being said, God loves you so much. And I will see you guys probably, hopefully, next month. <laughs> Bye. Oh!